A recent poll found that 29% of workers under the age of 55 thought that they would never be able to retire. Within that group, about 75% of them said that the reason why was that they didn't believe they'd be able to afford to. Unfortunately, for a lot of people that might seem true. About 40% of baby boomers, or those who fall in the 55 to 64 age range, have no retirement savings at all. For those who do have savings, the median amount is about $71,000. As you can imagine, in order to comfortably retire, most people need a lot more than that. Over seven times that even just to retire in the cheapest U.S. state. And if you're someone who's relying on Social Security benefits in addition to retirement savings, that amount isn't huge and as of August 2023, only amounted to $1,705.79 per month. As bleak as some of these findings are, there are some states that are better to retire in than others, and in these states, you can actually stretch that monthly check or savings from a small pension to being able to live relatively comfortably. Today on Across the Globe, we're going to be looking at the best states to retire on a small pension or Social Security. To do this, we looked at data from both Yahoo and Insider Monkey, which recently ranked the best states to retire in according to factors including cost of living, health index, tax friendliness, and crime. We also looked at additional lifestyle factors of each state to determine which locations are best for retirees. With that said, let's dive in. Number 15. Kentucky Kentucky is considered the 15th best state to retire in the U.S. For starters, it has an affordable cost of living. According to the Missouri Economic Research and Information Center, the cost of living index in Kentucky as of the third quarter of 2023 was 93.2 compared to the U.S.'s overall cost of living index of 100. That means that compared to elsewhere in the U.S., on average, Kentucky is almost 7% cheaper to live in. Yahoo also gave it a health index of 88.4, meaning that the health care here is almost 12% cheaper than elsewhere in the country. Now, I will note that Kentucky's affordability may come at a cost, as its quality of life for retirees and quality of health care were ranked some of the lowest in the nation, according to a recent survey. That said, if you're just looking for an overall affordable place to live in and aren't as concerned about other amenities, Kentucky could be a great place to stretch out your retirement savings. Number 14. Alabama Alabama has a cost of living index of 88.2, meaning that it's actually the fifth most affordable state in the U.S. to live in. Aside from the cost of utilities, which are slightly above the national average, groceries, housing, transportation, and healthcare are all far more affordable in this state meaning that your Social Security benefits or pension can go a long way. Furthermore, the state of Alabama doesn't tax Social Security benefits and property taxes are very low here. For all these reasons, WalletHub recently ranked Alabama as the most affordable place in the entire country to retire. However, like we just saw with Kentucky, the quality of life here, which includes measures like the risk of social isolation and elderly food insecurity rate, is considered low. Number 13. Louisiana Louisiana has a cost of living index of 90.7 and a health index of 99.3, meaning that both metrics indicate that living here is overall cheaper than elsewhere in the country. It's also a very tax-friendly state for retirees with Social Security benefits and income from public pensions considered tax-exempt. That said, other forms of retirement income and private pensions are taxed. The downside to Louisiana is that its quality of life and quality of health care are considered some of the lowest in the nation. Though, of course, that's not necessarily true for every single town and city in Louisiana. But if you're more focused on a place to retire cheaply, and are comfortable seeking amenities or higher quality health care elsewhere, Louisiana may be a good option for you. Number 12. West Virginia Number 12 on our list is West Virginia, which is one of the cheapest states to live in for retirees. Here, you'll experience a cost of living that's almost 15% less than the national average, and while retirement income is taxed, you can deduct some of this. Healthcare is also more affordable than the national average. However, 
despite it being one of the most affordable states for retirees. With WalletHub also ranking it third on their list in terms of affordability, you may not find the best quality of life and quality of healthcare here. Number 11. Oklahoma Oklahoma has a cost of living index of 86.8, a housing index of 71.1, and a health index of 92.6, making it the third most affordable state to live in the entire U.S. The state is also known for being tax-friendly, especially towards retirees, with Social Security benefits being tax-exempt and other forms of retirement income provided a deduction of $10,000. Unfortunately, Oklahoma's affordability may come at a cost, as its quality of life and quality of health care for retirees are ranked pretty poorly. Like we've seen elsewhere, though, if your main priority is a low cost of living, Oklahoma may be a great spot to live off of your Social Security or pension savings. Number 10. Idaho Idaho is known for its low crime rates, which is one of the many reasons this state is considered a good place to retire. It's also tax-friendly, with no Social Security benefits taxed here, while other forms of retirement income are taxed at a rate ranging from 0% to 6%. In terms of the state's cost of living, it has an index of 99, with housing and utilities in particular being ranked significantly lower than the national average. Number 9. Georgia Georgia not only has a temperate climate with an average annual temperature of 66.2 degrees Fahrenheit, making it great for retirees, but it's also the 11th most affordable state in the country, with a cost of living index of 90.9. In addition, Georgia is considered a very tax-friendly state for retirees, with Insider Monkey reporting that the state offers a maximum deduction of $65,000 for those 65 and older. Additionally, there's no inheritance or estate tax here either. In terms of quality of life and quality of healthcare, however, WalletHub ranks these at scores of 40 and 42, respectively. Number 8. Virginia According to WalletHub's list of the best and worst states to retire, Virginia is the number one place in the U.S. to retire according to factors including affordability, quality of life, and healthcare, which are ranked 16, 11, and 11, respectively. In terms of it being a good place to retire on Social Security or a small pension, however, we're giving Virginia a score of 8. That's primarily because its cost of living index is higher than the national average at a score of 101.4. However, the state is considered tax-friendly for retirees, as Social Security benefits are not taxed. Additionally, the state's crime rate is one of the lowest in the entire nation. Number 7. Mississippi Mississippi is the second most affordable place in the U.S. to retire, with a cost of living index of 86.7 and a health index of 98.5. It's also incredibly tax-friendly, with all forms of retirement income being completely tax-exempt and the state boasting low property taxes. Despite its low cost of living, however, this state's quality of life and quality of health care are some of the poorest in the country at scores of 50 and 48, respectively. That means that you'll need to weigh whether Mississippi's low cost of living is worth these trade-offs. Number 6. Ohio According to the Missouri Economic Research and Information Center, Ohio has a cost of living index of 92.2, making it 7.8% more affordable than the national average. While its health care may rank slightly more than the U.S. average, its quality of life score is far better than the other states we've looked at so far, with WalletHub ranking it number 8 in terms of quality of life for retirees. For these reasons, we're ranking it the 6th best state in the U.S. to retire with limited savings. Number 5. Kansas Kansas is the 5th best place in the U.S. to retire with housing being particularly affordable here, at an index of only 68.2. That means that the cost of housing in Kansas is on average almost 32% cheaper than nationally. You may pay a little bit more for utilities with a utilities index of 104.9, but when you take into account how affordable things like housing and groceries are, that slightly higher utility bill likely won't be too much of an issue. 
In terms of its quality of life and quality of healthcare, WalletHub ranks those pretty average at scores of 32 and 33, respectively. Number 4. South Dakota South Dakota is the 16th most affordable state in the U.S. to live in, with an overall cost of living and cost of groceries, housing, utilities, transportation, and healthcare all lower than the U.S. average. That makes it a particularly great place for retirees, especially if you're looking to rely on income from Social Security or a small pension. South Dakota is also one of the most tax-friendly states in the entire U.S., as there's not only no state income tax here, but all retirement income is considered tax-free. Also, a provision here called the Homestead Exemption Program means that those over the age of 70 who meet certain income qualifications can delay their payment of property taxes. An additional bonus is that South Dakota also has a high quality of health care, with WalletHub ranking it number 9 out of all 50 states. Number 3. North Dakota South Dakota's sister state, North Dakota, is also considered one of the best states in the country to retire in. If you can handle North Dakota's cold weather with average annual temperatures of only 42.4 degrees Fahrenheit, this may be a great place for you to retire affordably. Here, the cost of living index is 94.3, making it 5.7% more affordable than elsewhere in the U.S. Housing is particularly affordable with a housing index of only 83.2. I will note though that the health index here is high at 112.1. However, North Dakota does have a relatively high quality of health care, with WalletHub giving it a ranking of number 20 out of all 50 states. Number 2. Iowa Iowa has a score of 12 and 24 for quality of life and quality of health care respectively. While the state's overall cost of living index is 89.9, making it about 10% more affordable than elsewhere in the nation. While healthcare is slightly more expensive than the national average, housing is significantly less, at an index of only 72.6. Additionally, the state has very friendly tax policies for retirees, with Social Security being tax-exempt and starting in 2024, a new policy will allow retirees in Iowa to be exempt from paying state taxes on retirement income for the previous tax year. Number 1. Wyoming Wyoming is considered one of the most beautiful states in the country to live in, making it a particularly great place to retire for those of you who want to spend your retirement days appreciating the great outdoors. But beyond its natural beauty, Wyoming is also affordable, with a cost of living index of 93.2. And as Insider Monkey notes, Wyoming not only does not have state income tax, but it has some of the lowest property taxes and sales taxes in the entire country. Additionally, its crime rate is lower than the U.S. average. Finally, WalletHub ranks Wyoming's quality of life at a score of 9, meaning that this state really can be one of the best places in the country to retire in. What about the best countries to retire on a small pension or social security?